channel. My name is Maya. I hope you're having an amazing day. I make content about hair, beauty, faith, and also weight loss. And for today's video, it's going to be about my VSG health journey. So let's go ahead and jump in. It is my hope that my videos will be a place where you can learn, also where you can be encouraged. So this video, it's going to be about my five-month check-in post-VSG. I'm going to backtrack since I wasn't able to make content prior to my surgery like I had planned to and I didn't vlog or anything for the months leading up to here. I'm, I want to catch you guys up to speed. I had the gastric sleeve done in April, April 14th to be exact, and I started my pre-op diet on April 1st and it was for two weeks. Just to go over some stats, because I know a lot of people just want to know the stats real quick. I want to go ahead and put it out there. I started the day of my pre-op surgery. Oh, not pre-op surgery. The day of my pre-op diet, I started at 3.01. And the day of surgery, I got on the table at 2.85. Today, I am 2.18. And I am five months post-op. I am going to go ahead and start from month one and I'll also kind of talk about the pre-op diet a little bit and then we'll get up to how I'm feeling now. So starting with my pre-op diet, it was for two weeks. I did two shakes and a healthy meal each day. Within like five days, I was getting a little lightheaded so I messaged my doctor and he told me I could put a little sugar in my tea if I drank tea or coffee that way because it seemed like maybe my body just wasn't reacting to being on such a restrictive low sugar because before this surgery all I legit drunk two like 24 ounce cokes per day like I was addicted to cokes so I think my body was just like whoa you're not drinking cokes anymore you're not eating a bunch of sugar anymore my body was just like so I was kind of lethargic during that time. But after he told me to do that, I was good. And by the way, make sure you always consult with your doctor, okay? Don't ever go to any of these videos and take people's words for it. They're not experts. Your doctor is. So always consult your doctor. That was my pre-op diet. And the day before surgery, I want to say I just did liquids. And then I stopped eating at a particular time before surgery too. My situation is a little bit different than most people because the first two weeks I was pretty much in the hospital. So I was getting my water in because I they were doing it for me pretty much. The nurses were pumping me up with the, with the fluids and so and making sure I had my vitamins taken. So first two weeks were super easy as far as getting my water intake in because I was in the hospital and they were giving me what I needed and I didn't have to think about it. And if you go back to my first video on VSG, my whole experience, I had major complications, life-threatening complications. My first week pretty much stayed in the hospital. Uh, my surgery was on Wednesday. I didn't leave the hospital until either Saturday or Sunday. And then I ended up back in the hospital the following Tuesday or Wednesday. And I stayed a couple of days then as well. So like I said, first two weeks was pretty much in the hospital. First month was extremely hard. I am not going to lie, guys. My first month, first month and second month, I regretted the surgery. I hated that I got it. I, I didn't like the feeling that I was feeling. I was in a bunch of pain. I was now anemic, so I get cold all the time. And then plus, with losing weight, you might start getting colder anyways. But on top of that, I'm now anemic due to losing so much blood from the surgery. So month one, month two, I regretted the surgery. I didn't like that I now have GERD. Never experienced that before. And I was always nauseous. Guys, literally every morning for the first month, I was nauseous, so nauseous. I would try and drink water. I could not drink room temperature water. It had to be freezing cold. That first month, I had to have freezing cold water in order for me to not feel nauseous. They do give you medicine for your nausea. Of course, you're gonna get pain medicine, and I believe you take that for the first week or two. I was on it for two weeks, three weeks, I believe. After surgery, they want you to walk, 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 walk. Well, I was not in the state to walk due to what happened to me. So that first week, I was not walking at all. I wasn't able to. 
I was in the hospital bed getting blood transfusions and stuff like that, so I, I wasn't able to that first week. And so I believe that's probably why the following week I had a collapsed lung because I was bedridden for that first week. I was just in the hospital bed. I had a collapsed lung and a hematoma at, at the surgery site. So that's what sent me back to the hospital because it was excruciating pain. I couldn't breathe because every time I would breathe, it would hurt. Oh my gosh, guys, it was the worst pain. I had to be rushed to the hospital by an ambulance. I've never been in an ambulance before. Oh my gosh, I was slightly embarrassed but guys let me just let you know this with anything regarding your vsd surgery do not be embarrassed don't be embarrassed that you started at 400 pounds don't be embarrassed that you started at 301 pounds don't be embarrassed guys this is your journey everyone deals with something through life this is your journey okay you have to be encouraged knowing that you got this surgery to treat your body better this is about you this isn't about anyone else but you you're doing this for yourself you're doing this to better your health okay so and i'm, I'm gonna make a separate video about others opinions which we shouldn't care about whatsoever when it comes to our health so i'll make a separate video because i want you guys to be encouraged i want you to know that you have a community that is here for you and that's going to keep you uplifted that was months uh one and two ended up in the hospital twice for the surgery during month one month two was getting a little bit better still regretted it i didn't have much of an appetite i hated the feeling of not being able to eat whatever my friends and family would be eating stuff and i'm just sitting there like that was just how I was feeling my first month and two. Month three came around. I began to feel so much better about my health, about the surgery. This is when I was just like, wow, I'm feeling the weight loss. I'm looking good. Everyone can see my weight loss at this point. And I just began to love it at month three. Month four and month five, again just building up my strength i began working out in month two i think i began working out month two or month three i don't remember i'll have to check my instagram but throughout my journey i have always struggled with meeting my goals my water goals and my protein goals oh my goodness that's just hard super hard in the beginning I recommend getting powdered protein to put in different things that you're drinking throughout the day that way you're getting your protein in because it's really hard it's tough whenever you can't eat and drink at the same time you don't really know your limits so it's just after surgery it's a big okay is this gonna work is it's trial and error throughout this journey what's gonna work what's not gonna work what's gonna make me sick also returning to work I know a lot of people ask about this. Again, my situation was different. I had major complications. So I needed as much time as possible. Some people will be in the group saying, yeah, I was ready within one week. I drove myself home. Like, okay, that's you. Everyone is different. Everybody, and when I say everybody, every body. Your body is different from my body. Their body is different from your body. Don't take what other people are doing as Bible, as facts. They're different from you, okay? So you need to see how you are feeling at the moment. Then that's when you'll determine, okay, I'll need three weeks off. I'll need four weeks off. I believe I had four weeks off, but honestly, I should have taken six weeks off because I was not ready to go back. And it's not just a, oh, I just hate work, kind of like, I'm not ready. No, it was physically, mentally, emotionally not ready. Six weeks maybe would have been a great marker, but four weeks was way too soon for me. Going through something that I went through, it, there's trauma there at this point. Traumatized. It's just, give yourself time, okay? This is about you. This is your body. You want to make sure that you are healed before going back to work. I'm just gonna go ahead and go to month five. For month five, that's where I am now, I'm able to eat anything I want pretty much. 
but I am choosing to eat more whole foods, so I'm eating more fruits and vegetables. I eat a lot of soup because it's just so much easier for me because I hate the feeling that you get whenever it's like chick like chicken. I can't do too much chicken because it makes me feel so full. And whenever you get BSG surgery, when you're full, you may feel it like in your throat. It feels like it's closing, kind of. And it, that's when you know, like, stop eating, don't eat anymore, or you're gonna throw up. And speaking of throw up, I've only thrown up twice since surgery. The first time was because, I wanna say either I ate too fast, I think I ate too fast. Second time, it was because I tried a new multivitamin and I think it's just too much in it and my body just hated it and I threw that up too. And that was actually the other day. <laughs> so in month five, you can also still throw up. At this point, month five, I am focusing on eating those whole foods, fresh fruits, fresh vegetables. I drink a lot of smoothies still. Still doing protein shakes because sometimes guys, honestly, You'll go through phases where, or days where you're so hungry. You're just incredibly hungry. You feel like you can eat so much. And then you'll go through a day and it's like, you're barely hungry. You don't want to physically chew food. You really just want something nice and simple, like a soup or a smoothie. I've been in that stage this whole week after throwing up. And that's just where I've been. I just want something nice and smooth on my stomach and those are the two things that are the easiest after surgery. Soups and uh, soups and smoothies and shakes, of course. Speaking of shakes, guys, I hate the way that Premier Proteins taste. I don't like any of the protein shakes. So that was definitely a struggle. I had a strong food aversion towards protein shakes immediately after surgery. Like, I could not do it. I couldn't stomach it. It was just... I can't. But right now, I have been using this protein powder. I think it's called ISO Pure or something like that. ISO something. I get it from GNC. They have all these different type of flavors. I have it in brownie and also Fruit Loop. It's pretty good. Um, and also another protein shake that I actually can tolerate. It's actually pretty good. They're by Bariatric Fusion. Guys, their protein shakes are actually pretty good. They're not too sweet. They're not that artificial, overly sweet taste that we all hate during this phase. I love their strawberry one. The vanilla one is hands down the best and also the orange dream sickle or orange cream sickle, something like that. Those are amazing. So if you want a good protein shake, definitely check it out from Bariatric Fusion. They did a really good job formulating those shakes. Another thing, I am still experiencing the GERD. I absolutely hate it. It's not as frequent as it used to be at the beginning of my journey, but now it's just every, every now and then I'll start to get that feeling. It's like in my throat. I absolutely hate it so much. As far as loose skin, because I know a lot of people wonder about that, and I did too, so don't worry. I'm not noticing any loose skin on my stomach, my thighs. I don't see any of it. The only area that I'm nervous about are my arms. But I feel like I still have fat in them so i'm not gonna know exactly i need to be diligent about doing a lot of arm exercises maybe that'll help as far as working out i've been trying to do one mile per day at least four times per week y'all i have begun like i love working out i love walking i've been running i started out doing a mile my mile time was like 25 minutes. It's down to 16 minutes now. So I'm so excited. So hopefully I'll keep this up and it'll get down to 10 minutes one day and then 8 minutes. So I am so excited about that. I'm loving working out and I'm so nervous about going back to my gym because the Delta variant or whatever and apparently my city is a hot spot for COVID. I don't know. I might start going back to the gym, but for now I've just been walking and running outside. I've been loving that. I will let you guys know if anything changes for my fitness routine, but for now it's been doing like 
Beachbody Fitness with Shanti because I love him. He's so energetic. I also do one mile outside just walking and running like intervals. That, that builds your stamina up. So definitely want to do those. And I've been noticing these inches are just falling off. Also, I forgot to put in the beginning because I know you guys love stats. I started off at a size 22. I am now a size 14. So I am feeling so good, y'all. And I'm to the point where I actually take full body photos. So yay! I haven't been taking full body photos in years, okay? Years. This is the smallest that I have been since 2015. I'm feeling good. I'm looking good. I'm proud of myself. And another thing I see on the bariatric groups, people are still doing diets after having this surgery. I don't agree with that. We had this surgery for a reason, okay? Treat your body right. Treat it well. Feed it with nutrients. Feed your body with fruits, nuts, beans, vegetables, healthy things. We don't need to be doing... I'm not going to even name the diets because people will probably get upset. So after surgery, what I really want you to focus on, which is what I've been focusing on, and I've seen wonderful results. I mean, I'm down 83 pounds, okay? So... And that's another thing. We don't want to focus so much on the pounds. Let's focus on how we're feeling, how we're doing, how we're looking. How are you feeling? Are you feeling healthy? I'm feeling great. I'm feeling awesome. But after surgery, I made a promise to myself that I was never going to get that big again. I wasn't going to fall back into the diet culture. I was going to nourish my body with the correct nutrients, with the proper foods. Of course, every now and then I may have a cookie. So be it. Okay, you had a cookie. Let's move forward. I'm not going to sit and dwell in that and beat myself up anymore because I have self-discipline now. So I can have that cookie and say, okay, it was great. It was delicious. Let's move on. Where's my water bottle? Like, I'm so past that diet culture and mentality, and I'm, I'm proud of myself. You know, I, as a girl who, I went through hundreds of diets, hundreds of diets, trying to lose weight, beating myself up about making mistakes, and then starting all over again. I'm not in that cycle anymore. I'm done with that. I got the surgery for a reason. This is my new beginning. I know what should go in my body. I know that I need fruit. I know that I need vegetables, and I, I eat them. I actually eat them. I try and eat, well, actually, I do eat a bowl of fruit every single day. And fruit is good. There's people that are telling people to not eat fruit. Eat fruit, guys. Fruit has valuable antioxidants. It has valuable nutrients. It has vitamin A, E, K. It has all those vitamins that your body needs. So definitely want to eat your fruits. You definitely want to eat your vegetables. Don't let anyone try and get you back to doing pouch resets and drinking shakes only like no feed your body be nice to your body i'm all about being kind to your body okay that's where i am at month five and i'm gonna keep this going if you don't hear anything else from this video it is to be kind to your body eat what you know is good for your body okay we want to nourish it take your vitamins there's people that's not taking their vitamins we have to like, it's a lifelong thing. Take those vitamins, guys. All I wanted to discuss for this five-month checkup, I hope that this encourages you guys. Know that you are wonderful. If you're getting this surgery and you have questions, or if you're contemplating it, if you've already had it and you have questions, let me know in the comment section. I'll answer. I answer all my comments, so I will get back to you. And if I see that I'm getting the same question often, I'll make a, a video on it. But I hope this helps you guys. Remember that God loves you and so do I and that you're so beautiful and wonderful the way that you are so thank you so much for coming and yeah stay tuned for more videos bye guys love you